Hi, today we're going to show you our 2005 Sea Ray 280 Sundancer. We're going to start off with the engine compartment. Uh, it has a vacuum flush pump. It has the Mercury 496 engine with about 915 hours with closed cooling. We've got uh, got a little couple little stickers on here that show some of the maintenance history that we've done. Uh, not much. We did have new exhaust shutters that we installed last fall. Little storage right here for the table. It has um, three uh, one-year-old batteries installed, onboard battery charger. And now we're going to go down to the cabin. Hello, we're walking downstairs now into the cabin. To show you, I'll start out in the bathroom. The bathroom uh, has vacuum flush, which is very nice. A full size mirror. Uh, this is part of, I put that on the wall, but that can come off. Um, it also has a shower that you can hang here. Um, take a shower and then it can go back um, as the faucet. There is some storage here and it also has electricity. So if you need to do your hair or something, and it does have uh, a frosted glass so that nobody can see you um, if you're parked next to someone. So that is the bathroom. Uh, convenient spot for the garbage underneath the step. And down here is the aft bed. This is about the size of a full-size bed. Uh, you can see here I'm storing the isinglass, which is the full camper canvas, which we uh, had new in 2019. That is the camper cover, which was new in 2021. Behind this headboard is storage. Uh, it opens kind of hard, so I'm not going to open it. And then there's storage here behind the mirrors. Uh, that's just some bedding. And then when you open this up, this is uh, where we have uh, the cabin lights, the refrigerator, uh, the circuit board for the, for the boat. Um, we did have a radio here, which we replaced with, we will discuss um, after, but this is a USB to charge your phones. This is where the heat and air conditioner are. So obviously we don't have that on right now. This here is the cover, the curtains for all of the windows and we do have screens for the windows as well. I use this for storage of food. There is a uh, little storage compartment here uh, in the boat and this is more storage. In the boat, all of the boat has LED lights upgraded and also in the engine compartment has LED lights. Uh, underneath this seat is the air conditioning. So I'll show you that. Underneath, uh, this is a nice little booth area that we can sit and have dinner. Underneath this seat is storage, and it's there's a lot of storage in that uh, underneath that seat. Um, there's also a closet here. Um, there's some bedding in there right now. This is a full-size bed, basically about a full-size bed. Um, and there's storage to the right and to the left. There are speakers there. Also, we have added all over the boat extra USB charging so you can charge your phones and devices. And of course, the upgraded CO2 monitor. There's more storage over here. And uh, we do have a fire extinguisher there. So that's how that works. Um, also, I wanted to point out that this window does open, does work. It has a screen that comes out for one side and a darkening shade that goes over to the other side. But that was replaced in 2019. There's a nice sink here. And the cover is nice because it gives you additional counter space. This microwave does work. There's storage above. I use the storage up there as well. And there's more storage for whatever you need here. Also, there is a burner. 
uh, which works. And we also have uh, electricity down underneath there and more storage there. Underneath the little kitchen counter, there is storage there. And also a little tray there that you can serve drinks and things. The refrigerator does work. You simply push down and open and it runs on D AC. AC and DC. So if you do pull up to a beach, uh, it will kick in and it will work there as well. The floor coverings do, um, there are snaps over the carpet. So what's nice about that is you can pop those off and wash them if something spills. So we really like that feature. Okay, we're gonna come upstairs and um, I will show you, this is a nice seat here. Um, it does include the new teak, which is, is on there and it wa power washes real nice. Um, there is seating, plenty of seating for plenty of people. This seat does come out to be a sunbed. And like we mentioned earlier, this table can be stored in the engine compartment. Um, it also includes, uh, this is um, where the battery and the keys go. And it does include fusion speakers. And Mike will talk about um, the stereo in just a minute here. Uh, we do have, did you already talk about this? Um, all of the uh, paperwork for the C Ray, and it comes in this nice bag here. Uh, also, we have here is a cooler compartment, and you can see there's a hole that drains. So we put drinks and uh, things in here and throw the ice over it, and as the ice melts, it just simply drains out. There is also a sink for washing up, and there is storage underneath here, which includes a full cooler that fits in the compartment. There is also storage over here where you can put some life preservers, what have you. And now Mike is going to talk about the helm. Uh, the helm is one of my favorite parts of the boat. We've added a bunch of features to it. It has um, Raymarine VHF with AIS. We've got a uh, Fusion black box with two remotes. There's a remote here and there's also a remote at the uh, stern of the boat. And we've got a Raymarine chart plotter. The thing that I really, there's a couple of things I really enjoy about this. Uh, number one, because we've got AIS on the VHF, we can actually view um, other boats on the Mississippi River. Uh, it's mostly commercial boats that have AIS built into them, but it's, we found it to be a real safety feature when coming around a bend and uh, there's a barge that we can't visually see, but I could see him on the chart platter. You can just click on uh, the boat when you see it on the chart platter and give you all sorts of information about it. I also really enjoy the SmartCraft system. This tells you all sorts of information about the boat. It uh, currently has 915 hours on it. Uh, we can get all sorts of stuff like fuel burn. Last year we used 347 gallons of fuel. Uh, it'll tell us depth, seawater temperature, uh, all sorts of information about the vessel. Uh, it also even has a full tank of fuel right now. The um, uh, the other thing that I really kind of like, it's kind of neat, is because the Fusion, the Raymarine, and the Raymarine VHF are all tied together through a NEMA 2000 network, they're all talking to each other. And even on the Fusion remote, we can get information such as depth, water temperature, things like that. It's kind of neat when you're sitting on the swim platform, you can push this button, not only control the radio, but see what the water temperature is. Going up to the bow of the boat, it has a walk-through window, and which Lisa will open. And you can see we've just had the boat completely professionally detailed. 
The, uh, the bow of the boat is very, very nice. It comes with some fender holders, fenders. These are the switches for the anchor. I currently don't have the anchor installed. Um, it's got a light and it's got a very nice wide seven step um, beach ladder. Uh, now we will make our way towards the aft of the boat and we are going to look at, oh, forgot to mention that, Glomex. This is internet on your boat. Uh, probably one of the very few boats that have this. Um, it has a SIM card that you can put in. When you leave your marina, it will give you internet on your very own network on the SIM, from the SIM card. When you pull into the marina, it will automatically hook up to the marina's Wi-Fi and continue to give you Wi-Fi on your own network. Uh, up here is the Sirius XM radio. And again, all the lights on the boat have been upgraded to LEDs. The, uh, I don't know if Lisa mentioned it, but the canvas is only a couple of years old and it's in very great shape. We're gonna move down to the outside of the boat and we're gonna take a look at all of that. Uh, in the back of the boat, on the stern of the boat, there is a trunk where you can store all of your uh, cords and uh, lines. lines. And this is the boat, uh, the radio that's on the back of the boat. And then we have added a custom table that you can take down and put up. So if you're hanging out on the back of the boat, you can use for cocktails and uh, snacks and things like that. It does have a, be uh, a really nice ladder that opens up and it's actually um, very sturdy and it has three full steps so it's very nice to get in and out of the water on. On the uh, rear of the boat it has a Bravo 3 out drive. We have um, brand new polished props with brand new anodes. We've got a hard marine drive shower. Uh, the boat is all bottom painted. The bottom paint is in great shape. And one of the nicest things I like about this is the Sea Blaze X underwater lights. I don't want to turn those on because I think we would melt the camera. These things are extremely bright. One of the things that I really like that I did was um, this is the sender or the, um, no, this is, this is the transducer, sorry, for the Raymarine chart plotter. And we all know that transducer technology constantly changes. So I didn't want to mount the transducer directly onto the uh, transom of the boat. So I put a piece of starboard here and then the transducer is mounted to the starboard and the wire is running up through uh, the part of the boat that is not underwater. And if technology ever changes and you wanna replace the transducer, it's a, you're not adding extra holes to the boat. Uh, all Sea Ray comes standard with trim tabs. These are the trim tabs. We just had the boat professionally detailed and it has a ceramic coating on the hull and it is stunning. You can see how uh, she really shines. The bottom paint is in excellent condition. And the uh, port side of the boat looks really nice also. As I mentioned earlier, the boat does have an anchor. I just don't store it in the winter time. Uh, the trailer is a 2005 Venture trailer. It has less than a thousand miles on it. It has disc brakes on all three axles. They're surge brakes. And uh, I've added a bow catcher to it. The trailer is in very, very nice shape. 
coming along to the port side of the boat. Again, it's in really nice shape. There are a couple of flaws that you probably wouldn't notice unless they're pointed out. Uh, there's some marks here from where the old ladder mounted. I moved the ladder to the other side. And there's a couple of marks here and here that uh, could get fixed. They are, they are flush, they just... And then probably the worst spot on the boat is there's a little spot here. You never see this when the canvas is up. Yep. That was there when we got here. And that is about it. Can you think of anything else? Hmm? Thank you for looking at our boat. Uh, we've got it priced at 61.9, and then the trailer is an additional 7,800. Any questions or comments? Feel free to get in touch with us. Thanks for watching.